requirement be tested. Um, those of you who have studied uh, the philosophy of science know that if something cannot be tested and proven to be false, then it is impossible to prove it to be true. Right? There is no way that you can falsify that there is a pink unicorn in this room, but it's invisible. There's also no way to, show up to prove that it's true. So for every requirement, while you are writing it, think to yourself, how would I test this? And even better, with the requirement, simultaneously start writing the test cases and give both of them to the developers. Because when you're writing the test case, you're going to find ambiguity and you're going to be able to make sure that you've only got one requirement. If you've got 25 tests for a single requirement, you need to break that requirement up. Right? It's a very good practice to write requirements and test simultaneously. Also, writing requires rewriting. Do not think that you're going to sit down and just write a whole bunch of requirements and you're going to be done. You need to come back the next day and review them and make sure that they're accurate. And these requirements must be confirmed with your users. Wherever possible you want to be talking to your end users, making sure that they agree with the, what the requirements are. If it is not possible to actually talk face to face with your users, use personas that will stand in for the users. Or even ask the technical writer. The technical writer will typically be very much concerned with what the users are thinking and what would make them happy. Okay? But don't just think that you can make it up yourself. This is a group activity that requires communication and negotiation back and forth.